How to make a paracord bracelet torx head without a buckle, sailor knot style with a knot and a loop closure. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Alpha 1982 your YouTube paracord community. Today we're gonna create this awesome paracord bracelet. The inspiration for this bracelet came from Why Not? So check the description of this video for the link down below. And if you want to learn how to create this awesome paracord bracelet, stay tuned because tutorial is right around the corner. But before we started, on the end of this video, if you like this bracelet, uh, don't forget to leave a like, share this video with your friends and family, and consider subscribing and hit the bell button so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. Enjoy! So for today's awesome paracord bracelet, we're going to use this gold paracord, total length around 6 0.6 feet or about 2 meters in the metric measurements and before we start the full tutorial how to create this awesome paracord bracelet I'm wearing today you can find in the top right corner of this video so go ahead and check and click that I button or feel free to check the description down below uh, so we're gonna take the ends of a cord and we're gonna pull it together to find the center like so and now we're gonna create the snake knot so we're gonna lock our loop where we're gonna pull through on the end our bracelet stop knot so we're gonna take the left cord and or sorry the left strand and we're gonna make it on top of this right strand and make it around and to the side now with this right strand cord we're gonna make it under on top of the left strand cord and through the loop on the right side Now cinch it, rearrange the size of a loop and we will proceed. Now from here I'm gonna just unzoom a bit. We're gonna take and measure the length of a bracelet. So take this loop and around leave around 2 inches from your wrist uh, okay clear so two inches from your wrist to this end here will be enough and mark where the bracelet will end or ends And from here we're gonna start. So we're gonna take this right strand two cords, sorry, this right strand cords, and make it under. Now from here, so from the start, as you can see. We measure our wrist and pull the cords next to each other. Then we take the right strand group and make it under and then around and to the top and lock it. And now with this end we're gonna make it on top of those two cords in the middle. And now with this right strand on top of those two cords there and with this left one on top of the middle ones as you can see and simply step by step and you will finish the bracelet so the right strand on top of those two inner ones or middle ones as you wish the left strand on top of those two now uh, first it was the right strand cords now they are the inner cords or the middle cords as, as you can see the bracelet and the middle or center now with the left strand on top of those two cords and basically you always make the cross from the right strand or the right side to the left side uh, on top of the middle two cords now we're gonna pull it a bit and we're gonna do the same as we did the right strands on top the middle ones 
and then this right strands became the middle or the center strands and we're gonna take the left strands and make it on top of the middle ones now the left strands became the middle ones and we're gonna take the right strands on top of the middle ones So here on the end we want to do the same as we did before so the last strand on top of those inner strands now the last strands are as we said earlier uh, become the inner ones or center strands now we're gonna take the uh, right side sets of a paracord and make it on top of those uh, left ones like so and as you can see we clearly create the loop or two loops uh, with the sides or strands uh, clearly passing one next to the other and forming this loop now we're gonna take these two cords here and we're gonna make it from the top I'm gonna pinch here so from the top into the loop like so and we're going to pull it now uh, we have a bit slack here so we're gonna rearrange our knots And here we are, our today's project is almost done. Now we're gonna just make sure that we get the size right. Okay, as you can see, we are clearly create the perfect bracelet. And from here, we're gonna take these two cords, ends of a cord, and we're gonna simply create the stop knot you can use the diamond knot or simple knot as you can create this one on top of those right strand on top of those two cords the left strand on top of the right strand and then around and from the back through the loop on the right pull it secure it cinch it and then on the end uh, cut off the ends and melt it down so we'll have the uh, T-shape stop knot or you can create the basic diamond knot so take this end and twist it a bit make it on top of those two cords and with the left strand cord make it under this right strand cord like so and then from the top into the loop between those two cords now pull it and from the back side it will goes up through the loop here so through the loop next to the base cord and this loop through the gap as you wish and we're gonna create the pretzel form now from here we're gonna take it and make it again the left strand cord under the right strand cord and next to this strand here in the middle so through and with this right strand cord around and next to this and here through the middle 
and we're gonna pull it to make it tight and we're gonna rearrange a bit those cords and create the perfect diamond knot So here we reach the end of today's project, I hope that you like it, if you do don't forget to leave a like, share this video with your friends and the family and if you're not subscribed consider subscribing and hit the bell button so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. Until then stay safe, be well and wishing you just best, see ya, bye!